artificial intelligence. It's transforming how we work, play, and innovate. From simple calculators in the 1950s to today's advanced systems capable of generating text, images, music, and code, AI has come a long way. But what if I told you that the most exciting chapter is still being written? A new frontier of AI is emerging, one where systems don't just create, but act. But to understand where we're headed, we first need to see how it all began. Our story begins in the 1950s. In 1950, Alan Turing posed a groundbreaking idea, machines capable of reasoning and learning, forming the bedrock of AI. Fast forward to 1956, John McCarthy leads the Dartmouth Conference, where the ter term artificial intelligence is officially born. The dream of thinking machines becomes a formal field of study. By the 1960s, AI was taking shape. In 1966, we got Eliza, the first chatbot simulating human conversation. Then came Shaky the Robot, a true pioneer between 1966 and 1972, able to reason and navigate real-world environments using sensors and cameras. But progress wasn't all smooth. From the late 1970s to the early 1990s, AI experienced a cold spell, an AI winter. But AI wasn't done yet. 1997 marked a turning point. IBM's Deep Blue defeated world chess champion Gary Kasparov. AI proved that it could master complex strategies. In the 2000s, AI exploded with innovation. In 2004, NASA's Spirit and Opportunity rovers used AI to autonomously navigate Mars. And in 2011, Apple's Siri hit the scene, showing us what conversational AI could do. And by 2016, Sophia, a human robo robot, was joking, conversing, and even cracking a smile. The 2020s ushered in the generative AI era. In 2020, OpenAI's GPT-3 made waves with its ability to generate human-like text. 2021 brought us DALI, capable of creating stunning images from text prompts. By 2022, ChatGPT elevated conversational AI, while 2023 saw GPT-4 take Gen AI to new heights. Microsoft integrated AI into Bing, and Google launched its chatbot Bard. Now in 2024, the field is booming with hundreds of large language models, including Gemini, Claude, and GPT-01 Preview. Now let's pause and reflect on that timeline. There's a clear leap between traditional AI and generative AI. It's the moment when machines went beyond simply following rules or recognizing patterns. They began creating. To understand this leap, let's take a look at a real world example. Meet David, a customer success manager at an e-commerce company. His job is to help customers navigate complex issues and find solutions tailored to their needs. One day, a customer reaches out, asking for help picking the perfect gift for their mother. Now, if David's company used traditional AI for support, it's great at answering straightforward questions like, where's my order? What's your return policy? But when it comes to open-ended questions like gift recommendations, it hits a wall. Why? because traditional AI can only work with roughly pre-programmed rules and responses. Now imagine David's company upgrades to Gen AI. Using a model like ChatGPT, the AI could instantly follow up with questions like, what does your mother enjoy, books, tech, or fashion? Then it could generate thoughtful, personalized gift suggestions, complete with links to products available on the platform. With generative AI, David doesn't just get an answer. It collaborates with him to create tailored, value-driven solutions. It generates new possibilities that save time and elevate the customer experience. But as powerful as generative AI is, it has its limits. It relies entirely on David to determine the context and goals of its output. David has to provide prompts to train the model, but after the model responds to queries, its role stops there. In this case, Gen AI can recommend a gift, but it won't place the order. It won't schedule delivery. It won't send a follow-up email to check if the customer is happy. Imagine if David didn't just use AI to create, but to do. To give a set of instructions and have the AI not only understand the context, but also execute the entire workflow autonomously. Welcome to Agentic AI. The AI that doesn't just think, but acts. The newest and arguably most exciting tech trend of 2025. At the core of agentic AI is powerful unified system called single agent AI. This amalgamation combines the most advanced AI techniques we know today, LLMs, machine learning, and reinforcement learning, to create a truly autonomous decision-making agent. 
To understand how single agent AI truly operates, let's return to David, our customer success manager at an e-commerce uh, company, and dive deeper into how large language models, machine learning, and reinforcement learning work together to handle David's workflow from start to finish. LLMs are the cornerstone of this system. Here's how they apply David's case. When David inputs, find a perfect gift, purchases it, and ensure delivery by Friday, the LLM processes this natural language and translates it into a structured workflow. It identifies tasks like gift recommendation, order placement, and delivery scheduling. The LLM uses its vast training data to generate personalized gift ideas, asking clarifying questions like, what are your mother's interests? It cross-references its memory of previous interactions or general patterns to deliver thoughtful recommendations. If David or the customer provides feedback or additional input, the LLM handles these interactions with human-like fluency, adapting the workflow accordingly. Machine learning gives the system the ability to learn from data, recognize patterns, and make informed predictions. In David's example, the AI leverages ML to analyze past customer behavior, like preferences for books or tech gadgets, and predicts which gifts are most likely to be well-received. By processing customer feedback, like whether a recommended gift was purchased or highly rated, the ML models continuously refine their recommendations. ML algorithms process external data like product reviews, seasonal trends, and pricing to further optimize decisions, ensuring the recommendations are not just relevant, but actionable. Reinforcement learning enables the system to adapt dynamically, ensuring it performs effectively even in unpredictable environments. For David's workflow, RL helps the system make real-time adjustments based on feedback or changes. For instance, if a preferred gift becomes unavailable, it quickly selects an alternative while maintaining delivery constraints. RL evaluates the outcomes of its actions, like delivery delays or customer satisfaction, and adjusts its strategy to maximize success. And over time, the system refines its processes. Together, these technologies form a seamless workflow. LLMs interpret the prompt, generate recommendations, and communicate with David. ML analyzes um, patterns, predicts outcomes, and refines recommendations based on data. And RL adapts dynamically, ensuring the workflow runs smoothly and achieves the best possible results. A single agent AI system operates using three critical components, prompt, memory, and tools. The prompt defines the system's goals and constraints. For David, this might look like a sentence that we've we've heard before, find the perfect gift for um, the customer's mother, purchase it, and ensure delivery by Friday. This instruction sets the overall objective while outlining key constraints like ensure, ensuring delivery timing and staying within budget. Memory is the agent's repository of knowledge and experiences. It stores customer preferences, past interactions, and even feedback from similar tasks. For example, the agent could recall that um, this customer previously purchased books and tech gadgets and used that insight to make better recommendations. Finally, um, tools are what enable the agent to execute tasks efficiently. In David's case, these might include APIs to browse, um, e-commerce in inventories, uh, payment systems to process the purchase, and scheduling tools to arrange delivery. The agent can um, even send follow-up emails to confirm customer satisfaction. Single agent AI is powerful, but it's not with its limitations. While it can handle specific workflows efficiently, what happens when David tasks grows more complex? Imagine he needs to not only recommend and purchase a gift, but also coordinate um, a customer loyalty program, analyze customer behavior across regions, and ensure compliance with privacy regulations. Can one system handle all of this? Not quite. This is where multi-agent systems come into play. Agentic AI doesn't re rely on a single system for everything. It orchestrates multiple um, specialized agents, each designed for a unique purpose, working together seamlessly. Let's build on David's example. Say he's tasked with setting up a customer loyalty program. Here's how a multi-agent system could handle this. The info aggregator collects customer data, preferences, purchase histories, and feedback from various platforms like the e-commerce site, social media, and surveys. The compliance agent ensures that all this data is handled in line with privacy laws like GDPR or CCPA, so David doesn't have to worry about regulatory risks. 
The workflow agent designs and automates this program, creating personalized reward tiers, scheduling outreach emails, and tracking engagement metrics. While each agent in a multi-agent system has its own specialized tasks, the true power of this architecture lies in how these agents work together to deliver a seamless, unified solution. The info aggregator gathers custom data and hands it off to the compliance agent. Once data is verified, the compliance agent sends it to the workflow agent, which uses it to design and implement the loyalty program. And after the data has been collected and verified, the workflow agent takes over. But collaboration does not stop there. Feedback loops come into play. As the program runs, the system gathers new data, like customer responses to emails or changes in purchasing behavior. The result is a cohesive end-to-end -end solution where every agent's contribution seamlessly feeds into the next. One of the biggest advantages of the multi-agent system is its scalability. As demands increase or new tasks emerge, additional agents can be integrated without overhauling the entire system. For David, this means that the system can grow with the business, whether it's um, expanding the loyalty program, um, improving supply chain operations, or um, automated customer support across regions. Agentic AI is poised to transform the way we work, empowering individuals and organizations to achieve more with less effort. Its potential lies in its ability to manage complex technical projects, whether micro-automations or large-scale operations, using natural language instructions. Organizations have long strived to build high-performance teams and improve cross-functional collaboration, and Agentic AI serves as kind of the ultimate teammate, bringing to light insights from derivative events and connecting dots that are often invisible to um, human collaborators. And big tech firms are already beginning to implement this. Salesforce is leading the way with Einstein GPT, combining generative AI with CRM data. Their autonomous agents handle customer inquiries, generate reports, and predict sales trends, all without human intervention. HubSpot is using agentic AI to transform marketing and sales. Their intelligent agents automate email marketing, lead nurturing, and customer service interactions. But this is a small sliver of what's possible. According to Gartner, only about 1% of enterprise software applications include agentic AI in 2024. But they forecast this number jumping to 33% by 2028, and the shift will enable 15% of day-to-day -day work decisions to be made autonomously, transforming how businesses operate and make decisions. This also puts us on a path towards artificial general intelligence, which OpenAI categorizes into five levels. Level one was satisfied by the GenAI and LLM boom, and now we are onto level two and three. Now the concept of AI agency, or the ability of artificial intelligence systems to act autonomously, exists on a spectrum. At one end, we have traditional systems, programmed to perform specific tasks under tightly defined conditions. At the other, we see the promise of future agentic AI systems, capable of learning from their environment, making decisions, and performing tasks independently. As we learn how to build, govern, and trust these solutions, the gap between today's AI um, and fully autonomous agents will narrow. But even as a AI agency grows, humans will remain essential. Agentic AI doesn't replace humans, but enhances their capabilities. Humans are involved at every stage, um, guiding AI systems. So by determining um, the training data and providing input, humans shape the knowledge base of the AI. Um, in situations requiring sensitivity, like ethical considerations or nuanced customer interactions, um, David's, for example, oversight ensures the AI's actions align with the company values. Um, humans also ensure that AI operates um, as a reliable tool by troubleshooting issues, um, explaining decisions, and continuously refining the system. So to successfully integrate agentic AI into enterprise systems, organizations must address several critical challenges like explainability, um, ethical considerations, bias, data privacy and security, integration complexity, risk management, etc. One of the most critical steps in integrating agentic AI is setting clear boundaries between humans and AI agents. Humans remain the sole decision makers, providing the expertise and the validation that AI relies to perform ethically and effectively. As AI um, evolves to optimize and improve itself, our role is to guide it responsibly, ensuring that it aligns with our goals, values, and ethical principles.
Well, that's all I have for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a like and comment down below um, your thoughts on this 2025 trend. And if you aren't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.